Yo, it's your boy Darius, Deactive Harris, NSG, never stop grinding, always working. Never stop grinding, I'm a professional fighter, 6-0, and and I'm coming for everybody at 154, like, you know, everybody, bro. I'm, com I'm coming to take over the game, man. 2020, I'm gonna make some noise. Oh, and Deactive, you kind of epitomize what it means to be a blue-collar fighter yes, who has to earn everything he gets in everything. the sport. I had to grind through it, bro. That's that's my motto. This is my brand. It's my lifestyle. So I'm gonna grind through it. I'm gonna go improve myself. That's why I'm unsigned. I don't have a manager. I do everything on my own. But I'm six and zero. Um, I was main event on my last card, all with just me self-managing myself and then believing in my talents and believing in my abilities. I, I sell over 200 tickets by myself, no promoter. Everywhere, at every fight that I fight on. So, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna keep fighting, keep knocking these guys off. And when it's time for me to sign with somebody, they're gonna have to give me my word for I'm gonna just keep knocking them off until then. Darius, uh, you're heavily influenced by the heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder. Bomb squad. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> Is Deontay Wilder the best heavyweight Hands in the world down. right now? And why? Hands down. Because he's knocking everybody out and he's fighting all time competition. If you, if you watch Tyson Fury's, Last couple fights, he picked some people we never seen. Deontay fought his Manator and he fought King Kong again, which nobody still wants to fight him. And he's knocking him out in devastating fashion. What more could you ask for? He's been chasing Joshua for years. He won't fight him. So, I mean, so what more could you ask for out there, man? He's doing what he's supposed to do. When you go, when, let me ask you a question. When you go to see a fight, what you want to see? We want to see knockout. Okay, and what is he providing? Deontay is the most prolific one-punch knockout artist in boxing history. So, you know what I mean? He's doing his job, like, you know what I mean? In devastating fashion. He's exciting. You know what I mean? He's outspoken. He's positive. Like, you know what I mean? Hate him or love him, man. He's doing his thing. And I love him. Shout out to my, boy, my brother, Bomb Squad. With the recent performance of Anthony Joshua outboxing Ruiz for 12, changing his style and showing that he could add something to his game, how does your outlook of a potential fight between Wilder and Joshua now stand? I think Joshua, I mean, I think Wilder probably knocks him out within the first three rounds. He's not Ruiz. He's, Wilder's not like a big guy that can barely move around. Like, he, he's, he's only 219 pounds, so he can move good, and he's punching hard. So he's going to be faster, quicker, and stronger. Wilder, easy. Deontay Wilder's fighting Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury gave him some issues in the first fight just based on his size and his awkward style. What is your outlook on the rematch against Fury? Well, I just feel like the first fight, um, Deontay had an undisclosed injury before the fight. I'm not gonna talk about it if he hadn't talked about it. Before that fight, he had something going on with him. And on top of that, Deontay hadn't fought in like almost eight months. Tyson Fury, everybody wants to say he coming off a two year layoff. That's negative. Tyson Fury had two tune up fights back to back. So Deontay was actually really coming off a layoff. And um, Deontay still knocked him out. The ref um, outcounted him, and he dropped him in the seventh. And if you do a points by points with the 10-8 rounds, the way I scored it, Deontay still run one all across the board. So in this fight, I think Deontay is going to be more patient, and he's going to set it up, and he's going to knock him out faster like he did with King Kong. You see how patient he was? He was just patient, waiting for the right opportunity. He's going to blast him. He won't get up this time. And uh, can you address the common misconception about Deontay Wilder is he can't box, he's not technical. But at the end of the day, he's a master at setting up his power. So in essence, he actually can box. He is technical in his own unorthodox way. Just because way. he can't. Just, just because he doesn't. I'm not going to say he can't because he could do anything he want to do. Just because he can't, just because he doesn't box traditional who's to say he can't box that's his own style that's the Deontay Wilder style you got the Floyd Mayweather style you know how Roy Jones had his own style that's his style and it's working for him so why are these guys they can box so good 450 amateur fights Tyson Fury's the best boxer why are they getting knocked out by guy by a guy that can't box they gotta make that make sense to me if he can't box then I don't need to be able to box then just show me how to do whatever he's doing because he's, he's cleaning guys out he's doing what, 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 what fight fans want to see he's, he's putting your lights out it's like you ain't paying no bills. He putting Edison, he tearing all those off. 